Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Hannah Ashton and I post weekly videos about college, business, women empowerment, productivity, motivation, all the above. And today I am bringing you guys my favorite applications, who even says that? My favorite apps for running a business or starting your own business if that's where you're at. So not saying that just by downloading these six apps, you're gonna have your business done. I'm just saying these are good to have downloaded, know how to use them, have them on hand for when you do need them in your business. Let's go ahead and just get started. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is a productivity app and they also have a desktop application. So it's very easy to use and it is Trello. What I have used Trello for in the past is to plan video content, plan podcast content, plan events, like all the different steps in a big project. I think it's great for big project ideas or to organize your ideas. Basically, you just have a bunch of boards and you can categorize them. You can also have multiple projects going on and under each board, you basically have a list. And in that list, you can color code it, you can add notes, you can add collaborators. So it's also great if you have a team. It's like a simpler way to manage ideas within a team if you do have a team or you're a part of a team um, compared to Asana or Slack. If you want some like bigger aspects, you need more, then definitely check out those two. But if you want something simple just for you or just to kind of figure out ideas to brain dump, um, definitely check out Trello. Okay, the next app is Adobe Fill and Sign. I personally love this with the iPad because it allows me to sign my actual signature. Before um, this app, I would just use like DocuHub, which is also a good website or app for business. But I would just like use the fake signature. You just type in your name and they basically put it in a cursive font and and upload it but now it's way more legit I can um, also create a document so like if I'm putting together an invoice or a contract I can cre create a place where I need a signature and it's also great is you can save it so you just have to do it once like maybe on your iPad or with your phone with your finger and then it'll save it to Adobe sign you can just do your actual signature once and then copy it into whatever document you need you don't have to physically sign it every time but you can if you so choose Next, I recommend to download just all of the Google Suite products. So personally, I am a Google fan rather than an Office fan. So like my Windows Office would be like PowerPoint, um, Excel. Google's suite is like Google Sheets, Google Slides, that kind of thing. So that's personally what I use just because since I have all Apple products, it's easier to access on all devices. Say you have a Windows computer, but an Apple phone and you want to use the phone, you want to use the app on your phone or an iPad, then you can also download like uh, Microsoft Excel for iPad or for iPhone and use that. But I just like using Google Suite, as I said. So just download all of them, Google Sheets, Google Slides, sign into your account so that if you're on the go and you need to pull up a presentation for someone, you need to have it checked. You are at a business meeting, you know, your future self at a business meeting and you need to pull up your budget or you need to pull up something in an excel file it's much easier to pull it up in the app than to have to go on your phone or on your ipad into like safari or google chrome type in like google sheets just have it on the app so it's easy to pull up whenever you need it. okay next is for my product businesses out there and it is square well square so i just started my product business my first product business this summer as you guys know my dream achieve workbook planner and um when i was speaking at an event i also had a booth set up where i was selling my planners and you may have seen or used these at a booth or like an on-the-go shop it is the square card reader and so actually little life hack here if you just create a square account and then you go online they will ship one of these card readers to you for free it's, it's not the nicer one, it's just like the basic card reader. It doesn't take chips, you have to swipe every card. And of course there is a credit card fee. All places that take cards, there is a fee you have to pay per card. So just take note of that. But it's gonna make you look so professional if you are at some kind of event or you're just with someone and you have your product there in person and they're like, hey, I wanna buy that. Instead of directing them to your website, you can say, oh, perfect. Let me put this into my phone or iPad here. Let me get your card and I can have you pay right here. So that's super awesome. Square point of sale. I will have it linked below and you can create an account and get these shipped to you. It does take a little while for it to ship, I noticed, but get it shipped to you for free. Next, we have Zoom. I've been using Zoom for maybe two years, a couple years now. It's basically like Skype. I like a few of the features 
better. I think it's a little bit more professional than Skype. Instead of being like start a call, it says start a meeting. So it's definitely more used for business purposes. It allows you to share your screen. It allows you to voice chat, video chat. There's also like a text chat box um, as well as you can record the meeting. So if you want to record the video from a meeting or just the audio from a meeting, you can do that. That's actually how I used to record my podcast interviews is I would um, call them through Zoom and then record the audio from it and then take the audio from the call. So a lot of things you can use Zoom for just like a quick conference call, a quick FaceTime with a potential client or employee, whatever you want, and or you can use it for things like podcasting, something like that. Yeah, I definitely use the free version on all of these as well. And then my last app is Canva. I'm always so surprised when I introduce someone to Canva. I'm like, how do you not already know about this? It's literally the best thing ever. Um, oh, I have to update my app. It's seriously the easiest way to make any kind of graphic work. So a resume, social media graphics, website header, Facebook banner, podcast cover, like whatever you need, they have a template for. They have awesome, they give you awesome ideas for what you can create with the graphic. They give you, it's just so, it's the easiest graphic designer I've ever used. And I also use like Photoshop and PicMonkey and things like that every now and then. But this is what I use for my thumbnails now. And for most of my like in social media graphics, I use other things for Instagram stories. So if you wanna know what I use for Instagram stories, let me know and I can do a video about that. So great for small businesses because you may not have the funds to hire a graphic designer you may not want to have to learn photoshop yourself or pay for photoshop so canva is definitely the way to go all right that was it for this video i hope it was helpful i'll have the links to download all the apps listed below and like i said at the beginning if you have any recommendations make sure to let me know also let me know what other videos you guys want from me if you want more school related ones more business related ones yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video bye Peace out.